four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Say, yeah. Wrong door. Yeah. <laughs> oh! four in the morning. <laughs> four in the morning? I completely forgot the change of time. Oh, sorry. Darling, I just flew in from Paris where it's one o'clock in the afternoon. Time for love, lunch, and laughter. Oh, well, over here it's time for covers, curlers, and uh, catnaps. Oh. <laughs> I feel terrible waking you up, and you didn't even know I was coming. Well, that doesn't matter at all. I'm always glad to see you, Countess Framboise. Well, just forget that counter stuff. Oh? I'm the same old Rosie Harrigan you went to school with. How long are you going to be in California, well, Rosie? Well, I'm not sure yet, dear. Well, no matter how long it is, you're going to stay right here. Oh, no, Lucy, I couldn't do that, especially if you're not prepared or anything. I'll put on a pot of coffee and I'll be prepared. Oh, no, dear, I couldn't no, do that. No, no, really, don't I couldn't... argue with me or I'll tell all of your royal friends that you used to wear braces on your teeth. Oh, <laughs> you would. Yes, I would. Well, I really didn't expect to stay, but if you insist... I insist. <laughs> Where's your luggage? Oh, um, bring it in, boys. <laughs> right there, thank you, thank you. Oh, boy, same old Rosie. I remember the last time you flew over, the plane was so loaded with your luggage that nobody could see the movie. That's not true. And you had one suitcase just full of keys for the other suitcase. Oh, that's not true either. Will that be all, ma'am? Yes, please. Un moment, s'il vous plaît. Uh, do you have any money? I'm flat broke. Tell me, s'il vous plaît, Benet. Here you are. Help yourself. Oh, thank you. Oh, what charming change. <laughs> yes, well, now, here we are. C'est pour vous. Et c'est pour vous. Et merci bien. Au revoir. Thank you very much. Au revoir. Good night. Good night. Thank yeah. you, darling. That's all right. Come on over here and tell me about all the places you've been since I saw you last. Oh, just the usual thing, you know. The French Riviera, Madrid, Rome, Paris, London, Brooklyn. <laughs> Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, to see my mother. Oh, your mother is yes, in Brooklyn. Yes. So what about you? Tell me all about the famous stars you've met in Hollywood. Well, so far I've met Lassie's hairdresser <laughs> and the man who used to dry off Lloyd Bridges <laughs> and Liberace's dentist. They're all very interesting yes, people. Yes, they sound very interesting. Well, we'll have fun together just as soon as I finish my business. Oh, are you over here on business? Oh, didn't I tell you, darling? <gasps> my darling departed husband has left me something beside a title. He left me oil well. How wonderful! You're an oil tycoon. Well, you'll be in with the Rockefellers and the Vanderbilts. Uh, no, dear, I'll be in with the Longdons and the Arcaros. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, are they in oil? Uh, no, they're in saddles. <laughs> <laughs> oil well is a racehorse. Oh, a racehorse. Yes. Well, horses are nicer anyway. You can't pet an oil well. <laughs> He'll be as profitable as an oil well. They say he's won a few races. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Do I get to see him? Oh, yes. Oh, I have a marvelous picture of him. Wait a minute here. Oh. What? Here's your letter. My letter? Yeah, the letter I forgot. Oh, well, it's a good thing you forgot. You also forgot the stamp. No, I didn't forget. I told you I was broke. <laughs> oh, the same old Rosie. <laughs> you don't even have a stamp on a Look, isn't he beautiful? Oh, how dear. Oh, I can't wait to see Oil Well. Oh, hello there. Hello, darling. Hello, Excuse me, are you the owner of this place? 
Owners don't carry brooms. I'm a trainer. Oh, oh. In that case, would you kindly announce to the owner that the Count is Henri Gaston Armand Jean-Louis Philippe Framboise de Cul-de-Sac has arrived. Okay. <laughs> hey, boss. The dame here to see you. <laughs> You know, he reminds me of someone I used to know. <laughs> really? <coughs> oh, yes, monsieur. I'm Mr. Morton. You I wanted to see you. me? Yes, I'm the Countess Framboise. And may I present my friend, Mrs. Carmichael? How do you How do? How do you do? Well, Countess, I'm glad you arrived. Your bill is long overdue. And my bill? That's right, for all wells, board and feed. $937.14. Well, I'll pay you from the winnings from Oil Bell's next race. Next race? Lady, we have to use a truck to get your horse out to the pasture. <laughs> what? Didn't Oil Well used to race? Oh, that was a long time ago. The last time that nag won a race, they paid off in Confederate money. <laughs> oh, here's Oil Well. Oh, Countess, look at him. Oh, there he is. Oh, isn't he beautiful? Oh, my very own oh. horse. The last of my husband's gifts to me. He even has his beautiful brown eyes. Oh, look, lady, if you want the horse, pay the bill. Or I'll have to take him out and get my money back by selling him to a glue factory. I'll be in my office. A glue a glue factory? Oh, Rosie, we can't let him do that. What? He's so beautiful. Yes, but what else can I do? I'm flat broke. Oh, Rosie, I've got some money. Oh, no, Lucy, I couldn't let you do that. Oh, yes, you can now. we got to get him out of here. We'll take him someplace else. Yes, but we just run up another bill at another stable. Well, unless we didn't take him to a stable at all. Well, where else can you keep a horse? My apartment. <laughs> Shh. Lee says I can't have dogs. Doesn't say anything about horses. <laughs> well, how's Oil Well doing out here? Oh, he's fine. Only we can't keep a horse in a patio forever. <laughs> well, now, Rosie, he needs the fresh air, and it's all enclosed. Nobody will see him out here. I know, dear, but we have to do something. You're paying for his food and everything. Oh. Mr. Mooney will kill you. Now, don't worry. Oil Well's going to win a race soon, and I'll be getting my money back before Mr. Mooney knows what happened. Mm -hmm. But I'm a little worried about something. What? Well, do you notice he doesn't frisk around like a horse does? You know, he might be sick. Well, you can't expect him to gallop around on this patio. <laughs> well, he may not frisk around like a horse, but he certainly eats like one. <laughs> now, you make sure you chew everything 30 times before swallowing. <laughs> I'll see who that is. Yeah. Mrs. Carmichael, I uh, want to talk to you. Yeah. Michael, we will talk right here, uh, if you don't mind. Uh, of course. I mean, of course, of course. <laughs> Talking here, it's... it's... All right. I... Now, I will get right to the point. Mrs. Carmichael, your checking account has become so bizarre, so filled with ridiculous items, it's almost useless to keep track of it. Around the bank, your account is known as Mooney's Millstone. <laughs> I'm sorry. In the past, I have seen some weird things listed in your account, but two checks came in today that set a new high for incredibility, even for you. One of them is for $937.14 for an oil well. <laughs> and the other is for $86 for oats. Uh, I can explain, Mr. Mooney. I doubt it, but try. I love science fiction. <laughs> well, you see, I, uh, I, I use the oats to uh, bake a batch of oatmeal cookies. $86 for oatmeal cookies! Yeah, well, I'm on a diet. I'm You're on a diet? This is preposterous. Well, uh, it's Absolutely cheaper than preposterous. Just cookies I cannot time. understand how you can go around making out checks. Oil well. Oh! Uh, Mr. I, Mooney. What? Count! <laughs> Count! From what? Oh, 
Yeah, I beg your pardon. Oh, a surprise. Oh, a surprise. yes. And for me, a very pleasant surprise. A uh, surprise. <laughs> well, I didn't even know you were in America. I would have sent you flowers. Oh, my dear, it is so good to see you again. <laughs> oh, and Countess, you are like a breath of newly minted money. Oh. Uh, why didn't you tell me she was coming? Or do you only specialize in disaster news? She just popped in. The Countess doesn't pop in. She floats in. Four o'clock in the morning, it's a pop. Countess, you look absolutely radiant. Oh, my dear, and you're looking younger than ever. Oh. It's hard for me to believe that you're in your early 30s. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I mean... <laughs> what was that? What was what? <laughs> that! Uh, oh, that? Yes. Oh, well, it's, uh, it's the neighbors. He keeps uh, coming in here for scraps. Yes. Uh, scat, scat. Come on over. Go back over the fence. Scat, scat. Mrs. Carmichael, nothing you do should shock me anymore. <laughs> but keeping a horse in an apartment of all the harebrained, moronic, imbecilic... It's my horse, Mr. Mooney. Intriguing things to do. <laughs> <laughs> now... What perfectly good reason do you have for keeping it here, Countess? Well, it's rather complicated. Yes, the Countess didn't want anything that reminded her of her late husband to wind up in a bottle of glue. Yes. Mrs. Carmichael, I am confused enough as it is without you explaining things to me. <laughs> you were saying, dear Countess. Yes, but it, 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 you see, this is a famous racehorse that my darling departed husband left to me. It ran up a trifling little bill at the stable, and unfortunately, I am at the moment a trifle short because I have recently invested in a tin mine in the Alps. Yes. So, uh, you see, I, I am a rather short of money oh. at the moment. Yes, and, and the stable man said that, he, that if she didn't pay the bill that he'd send oil well to the glue factory. Yes. That's oil well. <laughs> yes. Well, you oil, just... that's your oil well. <laughs> go to the glue factory and I'll, I'll get my money back. Oil well will be racing soon and we'll more than make up for a few oats That's on his first race. Right. That horse race? Why, this horse is in no condition to race. What do you mean? Well, he looks ill. His, What's his the matter eye, with well, him? His eyes are dull and listless, poor little thing. And he's overweight, now, too. Now, you see, you see, Mr. Mooney is right. I knew there was something wrong with this horse, Lucy. Well, now, wait a minute. My bank deals with several veterinarians. Perhaps I can be of service. Oh, no, I couldn't impose on impose, you. Impose, dear Countess. It's a pleasure. I'll send one over right away. Oh, right. Oh, oh, and Countess, I have a confession to make. <laughs> You'll never believe this, but I'm not in my early 30s. I'm in my late thirties. <laughs> oh, dear, I wonder what's the matter with that darling horse. I don't know. We'll find out when the doctor gets here. Yes. There he is. Yes. Yes, sir? How do you do? How do you do? I'm the veterinarian. Yes, sir. Is, uh... Is this where the patient is? Yes, out on the patio. Well, I've been a horse doctor for 22 years. This is the first time I ever made a house call. Right this way. All righty. Oh, uh, you two wait here. I always like to be alone with my patients. Oh. Doctor Bill. <laughs> I don't know, but if Oilwell is as old as they say he is, he'll be the first horse to come under Medicare. <laughs> you back already? Well, that horse's problem doesn't take long to diagnose. Oh, what's wrong with him? Him is pregnant. <laughs> Is having a 
having a baby? Uh, yes, him is. Because him is a her. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, how's all well feeling? Well, she's awfully restless. Yeah, these older mothers need lots of attention. <laughs> as soon as I finish here, I'll go out and rub her tummy for her. Yes, well, I already did, and the baby kicked my wristwatch off. <laughs> Heaven's name is this mess. Mess? This is Oil Well's lunch. Lunch? Yes, I'm fixing her some special food. Lately, she hasn't been very happy with just oats and hay. Good heavens, are those dill pickles floating around in there? Yes, and I think I better add another one. Oh. And I almost forgot the strawberries. Uh. <laughs> That's really silly, Lucy. It is not. When I was going to have a baby, I wanted all sorts of weird things to eat. That's right. When my sister was expecting, she always wanted chocolate ice cream with mustard. Yeah. But I, I always wanted chocolate ice cream with sardines. Yeah. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I think I'll put some sardines in here. Oh, you gotta... You gotta be kidding. No. Now, this would be very good for you. You know, the cod liver oil and everything that's oh, in here. I can't look. Well, it may look funny to you, but to oil well, it'll look like Philly Mignon. Oh. Get it? <laughs> hey, buddy, I don't know, Lucy. Maybe we should take oil well someplace where they know about horses. Do they have maternity hospitals for horses? I don't know, and if they did, we couldn't afford it. Besides, she wants to stay right here with her loved ones, us. Oh. I don't want to take care of her. I've had a baby. I've been a mother, you know. Yeah. I have already started her layette. Her layette? Yeah, look. Oh, darling, how sweet. How darling, how sweet. And diapers. <laughs> well, at least do it right. What do you mean, do it right? What are you doing? Rosie, what are you doing? Never mind here. You have to have room for the tail. <laughs> your feet. I really do. Come on. See the nice chair I bought for you? See it? Won't you sit down and rest? Go oh, get that, will you, honey? Yes. Oh, yes. Just a moment, please. It's for you, honey. Oh, well, hold on to our well, will you? I will. Come on, baby. You stay right here. Come here, sweetheart. Stay. Here. Hello. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yes. This is Mrs. Carmichael. Oh, hello, Mrs. Goldapper. Yeah, I know I live in the apartment above you. Oh, uh, uh, what clomping on the floor? Oh, that clomping on the floor. Well, uh, you see, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm taking tap dancing lessons. Yeah, I want to be a hoofer. Well, you don't have to get nasty about it. All right, all right, Mrs. Goldapper. We'll have to make Oil Well walk a little quieter. Well, it's going to be awfully hard to make an expectant mother walk on her tippy toes. <laughs> Gee, she sure looks perky today, yeah, doesn't she? Yeah, I love the blanket. Yeah, so do I. Uh huh. Rosie, can a horse that's had a baby run in a race? Sure, a horse once ran in the Kentucky Derby while she was expecting. Really? What happened? Well, she had her baby while coming down the back stretch. She won the race, and the baby came in second. <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. Oh, this is a story. Oh, wouldn't that be? Maybe that crank downstairs complained to the landlord. Oh, dear. Hide the horse. Hide the horse? Where? Out here. Oh, yes. Come along, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Here we go. That's it, baby. Go on. Oh, Mr. 
Mr. Mooney, thank goodness it's you. Wait till you see what I have. I had to go all over town to find it. What? What is it? What is it? It's a present. For oil well. No, no, no. Her, I'll send flowers. This is for the baby. Oh. <laughs> yes. Look at that. <laughs> Now, Mr. Mooney, how do you expect a baby horse to rattle that? Well, I think it's a very sweet gesture. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I better go see what oil well wants yeah. of me. Countess, I have some good news for you. Oh, good. I have been looking into oil well's breeding, and she comes of a very good blood strain. Oh. I'm convinced that any foal of hers would be a worthwhile investment, and so... I am going to buy her baby. Oh, great. For how much? Isn't it amazing how she appears like magic when money is mentioned? <laughs> well, how much would you pay? One thousand dollars. A thousand? Oh, that'll pay the bill of the stable. Yeah. <laughs> she needs me again. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm ready to give that to the baby. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Ah, yeah, yeah. Steel wool? <laughs> I never thought I'd knit the baby a pair of horseshoes. Oh, oh, what a sweet idea, that so nice. The baby should be here any minute. Oh, oh, yeah. Keep your eyes open for a gigantic storm. I will. Boil some water. Uh -huh. And oh, hurry. One more, some more. Rosie, yes, hey, bring the baby oil. Oh, yes, the baby oil. Here, here I come, the baby, baby oil. Baby, yeah. right. Boil some water. Oh, yeah. oh, I hope it's a boy. I've always wanted a boy. Climb up on my knees, sonny boy. <laughs> <laughs> 